Buenos dias. Today we are going to Puerto Rico. I haven't been there in two and a half years, so I'm very excited. It's going to be really fun. We're going to spend a lot of time on the beach. So, vamos! Here's the packing situation. We're just leaving in about 20 minutes. Here's the traveling outfit so that I really look like a tourist. This is my dad's Hawaiian shirt. And then I have these sage leggings and a black athletic shirt. And then of course this hat that I wear like every single day. I didn't want to bring like a sweatshirt that I'm not going to be wearing there because the low is always 75 and the high is always like 90. So should be good with this. Hopefully I won't be cold on the plane, but I can take something else out of my suitcase if I need to. But everything's packed, so I'm going to head downstairs, get some breakfast, and we will be on the road. Bienvenidos a Puerto Rico.
I just cannot get over how nicely my hair behaves here. Like, look at that. If I could have that every day at home, I would be so happy. Even when it's like all dirty with salt and chlorine, it just... <sighs> I just had one of arguably the best swims of my life. We went boogie boarding and it was just fantastic. I'm going to show you a last look at the ocean before we move on to our next location. So my dad found this massive motorhome thing. It's like four stories tall. He was on a run and he ran into it and it's just like absolutely massive, like why? Another one of the crazy things you see in Puerto Rico, what even is this statue? What is it for? It's called La Estatua de Colón, but like, is that Jack Sparrow? I can't even tell. Rumor has it that if you climb through this teeny little slot cave thing, there are petroglyphs in a cavern, but there's absolutely no way I'm going back there. So my dad was trying to tell us that we were standing on some sort of overhang. Meanwhile, I was looking at the overhang he was standing on, but just take a look at what we were standing on. This was the only time we saw rain the entire trip, which is so strange because normally it rains every single day, but apparently the sands from the Sahara are blowing around and messing up the weather pattern. We followed this blimp for much of the second day as we went around the western edge of Puerto Rico. Apparently it's a US sonar blimp that tracks drugs, I guess, or that's what I found on the internet, but it was really cool to see a functional blimp.
This is such a gorgeous beach, right? Except for the 10 foot wide, 3 foot deep seaweed bed. So I did not swim, but it was really pretty. Minus this terrible road that we had to drive down, it was one of the most pumpy roads I've ever been on.